Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Living Life Fast. And today we start officially Project M1000. Yes, you heard me right. We got a thousand horsepower on this M140. We're on our way to Newcastle, four hours, 45 minute drive to a company called Williams Performance. I'm gonna introduce you to the owner, his name's Mark. He's gonna be carrying out all the work. We're gonna lay out all the parts, but just briefly, we're gonna be running the Garrett G-Series G35 900, which is the smaller version that I run on my GTR. Of course, I run two turbos on the GTR 1050s, and as the name states, 900, it's around 900 horsepower. So initially, we're gonna run low boost, seven, 750 horsepower, and then later on, we're gonna forge the engine, we're gonna do pistons, rods. Hopefully, we can achieve 1,000 horsepower. We may have to swap out the 900 for the 1050, but there's a load of mods that we've got to upgrade like we've got to change the gearbox we've got to run meth but anyway guys as i say on a mission catch up with you shortly right so guys we're on our way m-way settings are you seeing the rain it is soaking right now i'm actually following my m140i got my mate driving i thought you know it'd be cheaper than recovering i was getting quotes for like eight bills but anyway i'm just gonna update you on the m140 because most of you will not know what's been done to it because i did document a lot of it on my vlog channel so it's stage two plus tuned by tom wrigley we've upgraded the fuel pump to the tu pump we upgraded spark plugs we've done decat downpipe it's obviously already running the remus exhaust and I bought the car. So we're running 440-ish horsepower, tuned by Mike Ball. It's also running the Birds B1 dynamic package. So we've got upgraded Bilstein suspension. We've got the Birds custom springs with the Quaife limited slip differential, which transformed the handling. We had the full Zero body kit, M3 style mirrors, the M2CS style bonnet, M4CS wheels, 19 inches, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. We then sent it to the auto works where we fully murdered the car out. We tinted the headlights, the tail lights, we tinted the windows debadged it so that's you guys all up today with the m140 now let's make our way to williams performance Right lads, we have finally landed at Williams Performance. Let's see where Mark is, as you can see. Please ring for attention. We are living in the attention seeking world right now, aren't we? How are you doing, Mark? Right, Ricky. Nice to find you. How's it going, How was the drive? Not too bad, you know that? I've yeah. done this trip a few times, but uh, it wasn't too bad today, mate. Should we come through? Come through? Yeah. Right. So guys, we've already got the M140 in. So Mark, how you doing, man? Not bad. Williams Performance. So yeah. your name's Mark, you're the owner. Yep. Do you want to go into what you do, what you specialise uh, in? Specialise in the B58 and S55 engines. Mm -hmm. Sorry, M140s, M240s, M3s and M4s. Anything from servicing to turbos, yeah. methanol, engine rebuilds, pretty much anything. S55, B58, that's yeah. your game? Pretty much, yeah. So you've got a load of cars in there now, yeah. a load of M140s, M2s. So what do people do? Also get their engines built and turbo upgrades? and Yeah, pretty much anything. Hybrid turbos, single turbos, yeah. forged engines, suspension, yeah. meth injection. So guys, as you can see, we've got my <coughs> M140 here. Obviously we're gonna go uh, with the turbo upgrade. We are gonna look into building the engine at yeah. maybe a later date. Yeah, yeah, see how it goes on the, on the standard engine first. So I've noticed we've got my parts over here. Yeah. Let me know what's going on, mate. I mean, the, so the no main part is the Garrett G35 900 turbo. The 900 is what Garrett rated to 900 horsepower. That would be on a Cobb Developments turbo kit. So it would be manifold, downpipe, screamer pipe. We'll use a turbo smart wastegate. That would be controlled by the GFB boost controller. Nice. <clears throat> then we've got the new Frostbite methanol controller. That's fully mappable. So you can map it to boost RPM. Yeah just like an ACU. We're using like a high flow pump with yours with a high flow solenoid. Cause normally people, you can only run like CM3s or CM4 nozzles, but because we put them on yours, we can run the CM7s. Got ya. So more meth, more power. We've got the meth tank here as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, the meth tank. a three gallon tank? Three gallon tank, yeah. Three gallon so tank. that's about, about 12 litres, so, I think it is. So um, we estimate horsepower to be about seven, seven fifty. So we're going for, yeah, in the standard engine, yeah. And we're talking 100 to 200 mid fours. That's what we're aiming for, yeah. Mid, guys, are you understanding how quick this is? Like, mid fours, this is McLaren 720S territory compared to a 720S, yeah, isn't it's it? Like, cheaper, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, my 720 did, I think the fast I did was a 4.4, so mid four, that's nuts. We couldn't run a 900 on a stock engine, we'd have to forge the engine to I mean, run. you could, but you might not. It's You're driving it forever, right? <laughs> yeah, got you. So, this is a billet adapter plate, you say that? Yeah, this yeah, is that's your machined. design? Uh, yeah, we've got it machined, just literally five doors down the road, yeah. just from a, a blank plate because usually uh, people do upgrade the to the um, inlet manifold yeah you can upgrade one. the inlet manifold as well but um, I, can I mean this it. is yeah you can use that but there's a huge i mean the manifold's about four grand where this is just 500 right. pounds so it gets import meth much cheaper 
But even if I was to forge the engine, <coughs> could I still use this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But you're saying the stock inlet, they can split as well? They can't split, yeah, at higher boost levels. Okay, got you. So is it ideal to upgrade the inlet manifold? Ideally, yeah. 900 <coughs> Garrett versus 1050, much quicker spooling. Should be a bit quicker spool, about 500 RPM. Yeah, but these are Doesn't sound much, but it's... Uh, oh, no, 500, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And wh when will boost come on, sorry? Roughly? Should be about 3,000 with that. Wow. 7750 horsepower. Who's going to tune the car if you um, want something from Aiman at HLC Performance? Okay, so is he abroad or? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're going to log it? Yeah, we'll log in. He'll, he'll get the date logs and send us a map revision, then we'll do date logs and do it that way. How long do you reckon the work's going to take? No rush. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully but, but, in, but for a normal customer, was uh, the call, cool. how long would you say? A couple of weeks or? I mean, if you're on the car full time, you'd probably do all this in three days. Well, am I going to be back in three days? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there's one more part, guys, which is over here. Let's show them. So this is what we... We didn't have to do it, but we've just done it for... Yeah, to be safe, safe, right? You'll probably start to slip on the standard. We're going to be upgrading the gearbox, yep. Mark. HP 70 gearbox, uh -huh. where your standard one's HP 50. 50 means it's, it's rated for 500 newton meters, where this is rated for 700. But they do take a, a little bit more. What are some solutions that people do? Do they usually build the HP 50? I mean, in this country, most people just go for the HP 70. Right. It seems to be quite popular in America building the HP 50s. So how does that work then? Because obviously the stock gearbox is rated for 500 newton meters, but people yeah. obviously run way more than 500 newton meters, don't they? Yeah, yeah. So what happens after going yeah, past 500? Depends how far you are. The crutches can start slipping, or I've seen people break actual internal parts of the gearbox as well. Right. So this is straight from like a 435D or 430D yeah, yeah. or something like that. Yeah, 430D, 330D. Rated for 700 newton meters. And is there any other tweaks you're going to do, like mapping? I know you've got a code. Yeah, and we'll stuff. put XHP on. And we'll probably yeah. put a transmission cooler on it as well. So yeah, there you go, guys. Turbo upgrade. We're going to do gearbox upgrade. And then as you say, if I want to safely run the full power on the turbo, yeah. we need to do change. what? Pistons and rods. Yeah. Is that it? Anything that else? Is. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Right, so engine room, Mark, yeah? Room, yeah. We're in the middle of moving it, so it's a bit of a mess at the minute. This one's ready to go out the door. Uh, this is a B58 out M140. Mm -hmm. It has got CP rods in it and Wassner pistons in a standard head. We use the ERP mains bolts and ERP head studs. We normally keep a few sets of pistons on the shelf for the B58 as well. Is this what we're going to do to my This is what we'll do with yours if you decide to build it, yeah. We'll go for the, Was the CP pistons. Got uh, forged stock bore size pistons there. And, and what are they rated at? They're easy to do over a thousand horsepower, yeah. Yeah, so this is uh, basically what I had in my M. Fire, I'm not sure if it's exactly the same, but same company. Man, so B58, there you go, people. So that's as simple as it is, just pistons, rods. You say you don't need to do head work. Don't need to, most people don't, but I think for that next level, it would be required. We, we do we do a build head as well. We're going to be starting to keep them on the shelf, so we'll have like a, a build head with oversized valves and ported and polished. Right, so guys, that is the end of the video, Mark. So uh, what are we saying? Are you saying a week or two? One to two, two weeks, yeah, that's what we're for, yeah. And obviously you can check for any teething problems, yeah, the yeah. mapping as well. Get it tuned, check everything from perfect before you get in the back. What, what would you say reliability is like? And obviously we can't, <coughs> you know, stock engine, anything can happen. Never seem to get any problems, to be honest. I mean, apart from injectors on early ones, but there's no, no problems related to the turbos and stuff like that. Obviously meth dependent, so we're going to need to run meth full time even. Yeah, we'll do two maps, we'll do, we'll do a, a pump map and a okay. meth map. Oh, and that'll awesome. be switchable on the steering wheel, so nice. if, you, if you run out of meth or you don't want the full power, you can just yeah. run your, your pump map. Right, and uh, what would pump map be running roughly? Should be like 600, mid 600. Get out. Right. Still that... not be a slow car. What's heat management like? Does it does it get hot? Is it a car that I've got to manage, like how many runs are doing it, let it cool down after having a... I mean, if, you, if you're all night doing back to back to back runs, yeah. like, you're, you're going to need to let it cool down a bit, but you shouldn't have any major issues with it. So yeah, guys, <coughs> I'm going to shoot in a sec. Uh, finally, where can people find you? Obviously, Newcastle, Newcastle on your website. Cramlin, yeah, website, williamsperformance.co.uk yeah. and uh, Facebook and Instagram. So yeah, guys, make sure to check these guys out. And obviously, if you want any similar work done, Williams with Formula, these are the guys, yeah. yeah. S55s, anything BM basically. So yeah, next time you see the car, we'll hopefully be, yeah, smoking about in a 750 horsepower M140. Mark, Cheers. absolutely I'll smashed it. Bit. Yeah, soon come.
a right or a left turn Lamborghini made the heads turn Enough fuel for the next journey Man's wheel spinning, got the heads turning Exhaust smoke like a fire burning Just bought a bin, my man's buying German Parkway I want, didn't buy a permit Wanna join the team, then buy a jersey Full tank full of gasoline We on